Hi everybody, it's Joe the UCX guy and here is a Nortel 1120E Unistim IP phone, also available in the SIP firmware from Nortel. Um, this phone is running on the Unistim platform on the UCX from eMetrotel. So, a little bit about the phone. It was developed around 2006. Um, it was a newly developed IP phone that replaced the i2000 series. Uh, it's more of a vertical phone. It was kind of a completely uh, new design for Nortel. If you notice, it doesn't look like anything from the past, which were like these i2000 phones or these Meridian phones. It was a, definitely a new design. So the 1120E is more of the intermediate extension, probably more for a, a user um, that doesn't need a whole bunch of lines and just a few extensions. Uh, or just a few auto dial buttons and uh, DN number extensions. So let's see here. We have uh, four programmable auto dial slash line key buttons on the top. We have the uh, actual soft keys there and time and the date there. This can be turned to the feature mode like on a BCM or, and I'm showing it in CS1000 mode on the UCX. So here are the copy services, dial buttons, message inbox, shift um, inbox, what does that say, or outbox directory. Um, here are the volume controls, mute, hands-free, goodbye, expand, headset, hold, and a dial pad, and the handset and speaker. So let's make a call to this phone so you can just see how the display reacts to it. We'll go over to this phone. See the display says who is calling. All right, All right. hi, this, this is, is Joe, Joe. how are you? Okay, okay. Well, well let's go, go ahead and park that call. call. So we'll, we'll go, go ahead and park. park. So now it's parked on 525. And I can go over this T7100. So it's, that's the message it gives to that phone. But let's say I want to pick it up here. I'm not connected. So let's make a call coming in from the outside to this phone. As you can see, it's saying the DID number and then the actual number that the call is coming from. It says online and the call timer appears. Let's say I want to transfer that call somewhere else. Let's transfer it to transferring it to this phone right here and I'm going to go ahead and press transfer. So I pick it up on this uh, 2008 phone. Let's say I want to transfer it back. Just transfer. I'm going to press linking transfer again. And now I'm being told that 42008 is transferring a call to me. And then I pick it up and I'm connected. I also have a couple auto dial buttons program like to reach voicemail. Password. Or I have the page feature. Customer needs assistance, assistance in the garden garden shop. shop. Please customer needs assistance in the garden garden shop. shop. Bring a shop. Home. Or I should have done it the proper way, which I've taught before. Close the door. Press goodbye. And then you don't hear the hang up noise. Let's do a call going out from this phone. So that's how an outgoing call looks. To an automatic so CID is telling the number that's being sent out from this phone. And this phone has quite a bit of features. You can go through the services button and it shows all the features you can access. Some are already programmed on buttons on the phone, others aren't. So that's a great way of testing all the features and then this is a great phone. I actually 
saw this phone the first time I stayed at the JW Marriott in Grand Rapids. They actually have these phones in all of the rooms. They have the buttons programmed uh, for things like at your service, which is like the, the uh, concierge and things like that on the buttons. So the Nortel phones have come a long way. These are still manufactured new by Avaya. And I'm Joe the UCX guy and have a great day.